everyone! I hope that you are well. Queenstown is one of my favourite places in the world and I lived there for the entirety of 2016. It's famous for all the crazy adrenaline activities that you can do there, but it is also home to some of the most beautiful hikes in the world. And hiking is free, which is perfect for us backpackers. This is not an official list, but these are my top 10 favourite hikes to do in and around Queenstown. Number one is the classic Queenstown Hill. It's considered an easy hike which will take you around three hours to go up to the top and back down from right in the centre of town. What's really cool about it is that there are a bunch of signs along the walk which tell you about the progression and history of Queenstown. I absolutely love that aspect of it but of course there is also an incredible view when you get to the top and you'll definitely build up a sweat but I wouldn't say it's a difficult one. Number two is the Tiki Track or the Tiki Trail or whatever you want to call it and this takes you from the centre of town up to the top of the Skyline Gondola. It's pretty steep and a bit uneven at times but it's still a very enjoyable hike and it takes around an hour to get to the top. Then you can grab yourself some water or a drink at the Skyline Cafe or just go luging, you know? The view at the top is obviously incredible and gives you the classic aerial shots of Queenstown that you may be used to seeing in pictures. You can choose to take the gondola down which is a bit pricey or you can just walk back down all the way into town. Number three is the mighty Ben Lomond which is the highest peak in the Queenstown area. The track goes beyond the Tiki Trail so you can either start by doing that or you can take a cheeky gondola ride up to the top for a head start and then the trail heads around behind Skyline. From there it should take you about four hours return but the second half of the incline is particularly steep. This is considered a difficult walk and I definitely would allow a whole day to do it and in good weather conditions. But definitely add it to your Queenstown bucket list because the views are absolutely insane and it's a really good day out. Number four is much easier and that's the Sunshine Bay Track. This is a mostly flat lakeside walk and you start by heading in the direction of Fern Hill and you end up at the Sunshine Bay Jetty. You can power walk right from the centre of Queenstown to the end and back in like an hour and a half this is something that I would do quite often if I just had a couple of hours to spare. Number five is a very quick one. It may not even be considered a hike, it's just a walk, and that's around Queenstown Garden. You can walk around the outside for a 360 degree view of the lake. It will take you about 20 minutes. It's completely flat. It's right in the center of town, and it's the perfect thing to do if you just need a bit of fresh air on your lunch break. But there's actually also a bunch of activities that you can do in the center of Queenstown Gardens if you wish. For example, there's a skate park, there's an ice rink and there's also a frisbee golf course which goes around the whole thing so you know just grab yourself a frisbee and then go for a little game out there now my second five you will need a car to get to the start points but it's still considered in the queenstown area and it's well worth the lift you can even just hitch a car to these start points if you have no car and no money so number six is a loop track around mount Crichton. so you don't actually climb a mountain but it is a fairly hilly track and you will need a moderate amount of fitness it takes around two to three hours to complete it's very forest you pass lots of waterfalls, you also pass a historic hut but I won't tell you too much about that because I'll let you discover that for yourself. To get there is about a 20 minute drive from Queenstown in the direction of Gulanorki and I really like it because it feels proper off the beaten track. Number seven is actually my favourite number one hike to do in the whole of the Queenstown area and that is the Moak Lake Loop Track. It took me around an hour to power walk the whole loop track and I would do this several times a week. The constant view is just beautiful, it has such a serene and peaceful feel to it. It's again about a 20 minute drive from Queenstown, you head for about 10 minutes in the Glenorchy direction and then you turn right down Moak Lake Road. But I 100% recommend getting out and doing this track. It's a wee bit hilly but definitely okay for beginners. Number eight is actually one that I've only done once but it's perfect for an alternate view of Queenstown which you might not normally get to see and that's to walk around the Kelvin Peninsula. It's a flat loop track, it should take you about two hours. It actually has a similar feel to Queenstown Gardens with a constant view of Lake Walker Tipu and the mountains. But it's really funny to see Queenstown from the complete opposite direction and it takes around 25 minutes to drive there from Queenstown. Number nine is a walk around Lake Hayes. This is again around a 25 minute drive from Queenstown but this time in the Wanaka direction. It is a loop track and you are walking around the circumference of the beautiful Lake Hayes of course. It's mostly flat, takes around three hours and is absolutely beautiful on a summer's day. One of my favourite things about Lake Hayes is that it's so 
reflected. Lots of photographers head over there to get a classic shot of the lake, but it is a perfect half day activity. And finally, number 10 is a big daddy of a hike, and that is the trek to Macetown. The trek starts in gorgeous Arrow Town and follows down the Arrow River. And eventually, and I mean eventually, you get to a ghost town named Macetown. And the really cool thing about it is that you can only get there by foot or by like an outrageous 4x4 vehicle. So it's really somewhere that not very many people go at all. You should allow eight hours for the whole round trip, and I think it's like 34 kilometers in total. It is a fairly flat walk, which is a bonus to save your legs a bit, but they will be aching at the end of the day. It is a really great adventure though, with wonderful mountain views and valley views, and um, river and stream crossings, and really getting the feeling that you're just secluded in the middle of nowhere and just really escaping. But for that reason, definitely recommend going with a friend just in case you run into any trouble there's no one out there no one out there's gonna help you so yeah just make sure you're part of a, at least a little group just just so you're not alone I don't want you getting in trouble and there you have it my top 10 favorite hikes to do in Queenstown they are all incredible but of course there are even more ones that you can do that I haven't mentioned I recommend having a look at the Wakatipu walks brochure by the Department of Conservation which I will link below it literally lists every single hike that you can do in the Queenstown area and you will see that you will never be short for options when you're in Queenstown. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more Queenstown, New Zealand and just general around the world content, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye!